Housing finance has swung into profitability, posting a 62.3% profit in the first year, period to June this year. This, the mortgage says, profit before tax was up. 62.3 million in the first half of 2022, a 120% growth from a loss of 318.1 in June 2021. The lender says net interest income grew to 1 billion shillings, which is an 11% growth. The bank has been facing headwinds in the last two years due to the slow uptake of housing units occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Housing Finance Group Chief Executive Officer Robert Kibara attributed the enhanced performance to the turnaround strategy focused on a diversified business model and robust risk management framework. Non-performing loans portfolio reduced by 11% on the back of aggressive credit quality initiatives. This paved way for an asset reallocation phase that has seen the yield on interest earning assets increase by 30 basis points, resulting in an 11% rise in net interest income. We've seen over the first half of the year is, uh, is first of all st strong income growth, so our total income has grown by 22%, uh, driven primarily by uh, growth in NFI, 54%. And also we have seen uh, net, net interest income go up by, by 11%. The lender has instituted a new revenue frontier in project management, which has pushed up the growth of other income by 131 million Kenya shillings, a 92% rise. New revenue streams are projected to sustain the group's profit trajectory going forward. Also seen a reduction in, in costs uh, while we continue to deploy our costs from non-productive areas to productive areas. We have also seen a reduction in overall costs as we continue to manage uh, our expenses. That reduction was, was by 7%. Total operating income grew by 22%, while operating expenses eased by 7%. Similarly, the cost of retail deposits dropped from 4.0% in June 2021 to 3.8% in June 2022. Total deposits are up by 1.5 billion shillings year on year. Housing Finance Group is an asset-rich financial services provider licensed by the Central Bank of Kenya to provide banking solutions through its subsidiary HFC. Ndutsamokami for Lunchtime News.